Hello everyone, welcome to our second Corona video recorded during this lockdown. As we currently still can't actually work with children with cerebral palsy and some of you might be at home until the end of July still, <clears throat> I've resorted to using my ever-growing family of dolls to show you some ideas of of moving perhaps with your your baby or your young child. Um, let's get started. Okay, we're going to look at some positions and movements with your with your young baby. Um, oh, and I've put on different top because of my youngest ones. Um, my youngest dolls are in pink and red, so um, in so that you can see them well in contrast with my black top rather than my pink shirt. So um, you can do lots of movements with your baby when you're carrying them, when you're holding them and that's very useful for them. Um, they either may not move a lot or they might move quite a lot more than, than other babies perhaps or may move quite stiffly um, so the the support you give them and the way you carry and hold them might have to differ slightly and will differ slightly according to how your baby is moving in response um, but here are some kind of general ways of ways that you can hold and and move your baby one thing I would suggest is that more often than not, try and move quite slowly with your baby um, so that they have time to adjust um, to the movement and adjust to moving from one position into another. Um, this is the typical position where you hold your baby and that way if they are breastfeeding they're also um, very close and, and ready to do so. Um, but if you're moving from this position into another position, very often babies with cerebral palsy really like for you to give them a lot of support during the movement. So rather than um, just using your hands and lifting them, also if you pass them on from one parent to another, one person to another, this might be quite challenging for your baby. So most of the time it would be um, useful to actually um, either your, your, your partner or the other person to come even sit beside you, come close to you so that you can pass the baby on with, with a lot of support um, or if you can get up yourself then um, you can get up and, and pass the baby still giving a lot of support and um, they understand very quickly they they have already been listening to you in the womb to all your and um, what you've been talking about and singing and listening to so they very quickly can pick up on your communication so also useful to tell them prepare them what what you're going to do rather than just doing it um, without without preparing and saying so. Um, if you're moving from one position into another it'd be useful to give them all round support. So if I help my my baby to go onto their tummy um, you can do that slowly and make sure that they're they're well supported. And um, this is one of my favorite positions and for a lot of children as well because actually being on the tummy is often a very relaxing position if they if they manage to do so and they can get a lot of practice in your arms actually for going on their tummy and um, so tummy time is not not just putting them down somewhere on their tummy it actually starts in in your arms and um, it can also be positioned to go on the side, go between the side and the tummy. If, if tummy is hard, you can easily bring them onto their side or even um, onto their back. 
and you can see this hands already close to the face which can be a challenge for for many young children with cerebral palsy um, is to bring their hands to their face um, and and to be able to self soothe so it's already in a good good um, better position here the other arm you can see isn't but um, for some children it will be possible to bring the arm underneath them and even then um, it could be in a position where they are able to perhaps bring both hands towards their face or even together and be can be quite quite settled that way um, and then it's also if you can go on their tummy position where if the legs tend to do certain movements where you can have um, good support underneath the rest of their body and actually do some movements or position the legs in a way that will be will be helpful to your baby. Um, other favorite positions for babies and for parents are these because they feel well supported, feel all your your warmth, especially with skin skin to skin, and they can see all around them, start to explore them, um, explore what's around them, or, or look at somebody else who's out there. What sometimes happens though is that parents tend to always favor one side because they're possibly left or right-handed, or because it's easier to hold your baby like that. Um, now. Try and be aware of your position. You may already picked up on perhaps some asymmetries um, with your baby. They tend to um, pull more on one side or shorten more on one side. If that's the case, often it's useful um, if they're shortened on this side to position them um, like this. However, if they tend to shorten more on that side, and they will almost want to come off your shoulder there then you can bring them onto the other side and perhaps even bring that arm up and that that, that will help them um, to get a bit more length on this side it may be that if you put them on this side they tend to shorten more on that side and vice versa so try and be aware of it and actually perhaps not always hold your baby in the same position or on the, on the same arm if you're sitting down quite relaxed and therefore perhaps you don't need to do it with one particular arm it might be useful to just switch over um, some of the time and put your baby on, on the other arm so if you have a, a little baby um, or babies at home with cerebral palsy you possibly even more so than um, other babies you'll be carrying um, holding your baby a lot um, which is very good very important that's what your baby will need at this point in time and I would strongly recommend as much skin to skin as possible because that will give your baby even more feedback and more more security um, a few pieces, simple pieces of equipment that could be useful to use with with your babies, if um, to to give you a bit of a a bit extra support or um, with carrying or positioning. One is a is a sling, and I would recommend the type that you wrap around you. That is. Um, just a long piece of fabric usually about six yards sometimes can be useful for it to be a bit longer depending on how tall um, how tall you are um, I don't have a sling here at the moment um, but I'll um, in a separate video I'll show you with my kilt um, which is six yards long typically um, on how you can how you can position your baby um, because you can position your baby also skin to skin in the house and in different positions um, also in position where 
if you are able to breastfeed that you can just um, breastfeed, your baby can breastfeed within the sling. Um, and then as they grow older you can use you can use different positions with with your child. Um, other pieces of equipment that are very useful um, we often use V-cushion because once you can put your baby down um, during the day it's it's quite easy and kind of makes a nesting position and brings your child's arms that are often out here especially if they're born quite early um, more together and possibly in a in a position where there'll be more easily opportunity for them to bring their hands together and their hands to their face their mouth um, but if your baby is still very small like like this little doll then possibly the cushion is actually a bit bit too big um, then towels can be very useful and versatile um, different size towels um, you can use in, in different ways so I prepared a few towels here um, I'm making sushi for dinner later so that reminded me on um, rolling the sushi so I've rolled these towels um, nice and tight so they're they're firm and give good support but are are comfortable you can roll them lengthwise or widthwise so um, with with ones that are rolled lengthwise then you can possibly use them to position all underneath your baby and to give similar support like the V cushion and then the ends can also go underneath um, the legs to position them as well especially if perhaps your child tends to push their legs straight like this give them some support underneath that you could otherwise do with the end of of the V cushion um, or you could use perhaps two shorter ones because often babies if they lie down and um, they do not necessarily need a raise or a big raise underneath the head you could have two short ones that you put to either side of your baby and if you do this for positioning when they're sleeping um, you can actually put these underneath the sheet um, so there will be no danger of the towels of them getting underneath the towels um, um, but will and also will stay in position um, if they need a little bit of support under the head you could roll um, a little bit of a towel and um, or fold a towel um, to give some height underneath underneath your baby's head like this or um, perhaps during the day um, you could roll one end of your towel on one side and the other end of your towel on the other side and then you can position your baby in between the two bits of roll towel and your towel will stay in position even if if your baby tends to move um, quite vigorously um, they will tend to stay in position okay so these are uh, perhaps a few tips that um, you may not know already or perhaps that you have been told or shown in the past but you might have forgotten bye have fun Bye bye, doei bye bye, dan kus en
拜拜。